ex military releases NASA video showing a 3,200 kilometer long spacecraft of an unknown origin. Bob Dean is a former member of NATO intelligence, high ranking military man who has been involved in major UFO research, and he already is retired today. He decided to divulge everything he knows to the world. In his newest video, Bob Dean shows images of an alien object about 3,200 kilometers long near the planet Saturn in 1980. And that's a huge object, obviously, kilometers long. The former NASA engineer turned whistleblower, who has claimed that NASA has known about the existence of extraterrestrial life for decades, recently released a video of a long spacecraft, and the video sparked speculation and conspiracy theories among the viewers. Bob Dean said, there are intelligent races out there that are a billion years ahead of us. We find stars out there that probably have planets. Those planets can be up to three times as old as our own star. Bob Dean is a former member of NATO intelligence, high ranking military man who has been involved in major UFO research. And today already retired, decided to divulge everything he knows to the world about this. He showed images of an alien object about 3,200 kilometers long near the planet Saturn in 1980. Recent leaked uh, Russia space program files clearly show the same object as described in 1980. Robert Dean explains in September 2009, the Cassini spacecraft photographed what NASA calls an anomaly, a strange object that they believe moved at will under the control of an intelligence was metallic and magnetic. It was determined that the object measured about 3,200 kilometers in length by 800 kilometers in diameter. Cassini-Huygens, the Cassini-Huygens Space Research Mission, commonly called Cassini, involved a collaboration among NASA, the European Space Agency, ESA, and the Italian Space Agency, ASI, to send a space probe to study the planet planet Saturn and its system, including its rings, Saturn's rings, and natural satellites. The flagship class robotic spacecraft comprised both NASA's Cassini space probe and ESA's Huygens lander, which landed on Saturn's largest moon, Titan. Cassini was the fourth space probe to visit Saturn the first, and the first to enter its orbit, where it stayed from 2004 to 2017. The two craft took their names from the astronomers Giovanni Cassini and Christian Huygens, launched about aboard a Titan IVB Centaur on October 15, 1997. Cassini was active in space for nearly 20 years, with 13 years spent orbiting Saturn. That's a long time. 13 years orbiting Saturn and studying the planet and its system after entering orbit July 1, 2004. The voyage to Saturn included flybys of Venus in April 1998 and July 1999, Earth, August 1999, the asteroid 2685 Mazurki, and Jupiter in December 2000. The mission ended in, on September 15, 2017, when Cassini's trajectory took it into Saturn's upper atmosphere and it burned up there in order to prevent any risk of contaminating Saturn's moons, which might have effect offered habitable environments to stow away terrestrial microbes on the spacecraft. The mission was successful beyond expectations. NASA's Planetary Science Division Director Jim Green described Cassini Huygens as a mission of firsts that has revolutionized human understanding of the Saturn system, including its moons and rings, and our understanding of where life might be found in the solar system. Cassini's planners originally scheduled a mission of four years from June 2004 to May 2008. The mission was extended for another two years until September 2010, branded the Cassini Equinox mission. The mission was extended a second and final time with the Cassini Solstice mission lasting another seven years until September 15, 2017 on uh, which date Cassini was deorbited to burn up in Saturn's upper atmosphere. The Huygens model, module traveled with Cassini until it separated from uh, the separation from the probe on December 25, 2004. Huygens landed by parachute on Titan 
on January 14, 2005. It returned data to Earth for around 90 minutes using the orbiter as a relay. This was the first landing ever accomplished on the, in the outer solar system and the first landing on a moon other than Earth's moon. And this is on Collective Spark. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.